The American people need roads, bridges, ports, and airports to build their businesses, build their families, and build their lives. This is a live look at the U.S. Capitol right now. It's going to be busy there today as lawmakers take a major vote on President Biden's trillion dollar infrastructure plan. The bill is expected to pass the Senate, but Democrats in the House hold a small majority and progressive members of the party say this proposal isn't big enough. But there are a lot of things in this bill. The bill itself is 2,700 pages long, and our Verify team has been getting a lot of questions about what's all in it. Anytime there are rumors of new taxes, that gets a lot of people talking. So our Verify team is looking into what this bill could mean for you. Take this email from a viewer named Doris asking us, quote, does President Biden's infrastructure bill contain a pilot program to test mileage taxes? The claim is also swirling all over Twitter. So let's verify with some help from our sources. Michelle Nellenbach from the Bipartisan Policy Center, Randall O'Toole from the Cato Institute. We also looked at the bill itself. Let's start there on page 508 with a section titled National Motor Vehicle Per Mile User Fee Pilot. It tells the Department of Transportation to establish a pilot program to, quote, test the design, acceptance, implementation, and financial sustainability of a per mile user fee. That is, a system where we pay a fee based on the distance we travel rather than the amount of gas we use. So instead of paying at the pump for a gallon, you would pay based on the, the amount of miles you put on your car. And so the provisions in the bill are to allow folks to opt into a pilot program, an experiment, basically to see how it would work. The pilot would find volunteers from across the country, drivers of both commercial and personal vehicles. They would then keep paying their gas tax, but also start paying a per mile user fee established by the Department of the Treasury. Since this is a pilot, the government would then pay them back. And one big question is how to track those miles. The bill proposes possible tools like GPS systems or smartphone apps. The question is how can we do it and maintain people's privacy and do it efficiently so that it doesn't cost a lot of money to collect the, the fees and uh, a pilot project will be able to answer those questions. As for costs, the bill allocates a total of $10 million per year from 2022 to 2026. So we can verify that yes, the bill does include a pilot study of a per mile user fee. With your Verify, I'm Evan Coslow.